Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Nikla. Today is the third video of my little fashion illustration series that I'm doing on my channel. So if you missed the first one of me drawing a fashion quirky, go ahead and go down below or go check out my channel to check out that video. And if you missed the second video, like what are you doing? But if you did miss the second video of me actually drawing this particular design that I'm going to color today in this video, go down below or check out my channel to look at that video as well. But if you're ready to see this fashion design to be colored, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also give this video a like as well sometime throughout the video. And other than that, let's get started with this video. And I can wait so we can break about the video let's first talk about markers particularly I have used in the past Prismacolors markers and color pencils I am going to use Prismacolor color pencils today in this video but I wanted to try the new markers that I have and this brand that has your brand a professional artist of markers within this pack of markers it comes with uh, a lot of flesh tones than I usually have with my Prismacolors so these new set of markers really help me out with a lot of uh, new flesh tones and a lot of new colors that I don't have before we get coloring you gotta figure out what kind of color theme that you want to do for this particular design so I always have like a piece of paper to test out the markers and to see what kind of colors work well with each other so let's go ahead and jump in to actually color this design so to make the flesh tone that I wanted because I wanted a more lighter brown flesh tone I went in with this marker called tan one which gave a nice light peach color first I did this step first because I wasn't any of the browns in the, this case of markers that I have didn't really get this natural skin brown tone color so I needed to lay this marker down first so when I put this other brown color in a minute the marker called brown one when I applied it on top it gave it more a natural looking more a uh, brown tone flesh tone that I wanted once all of the flesh is colored in I went ahead and shaded in the flesh to make it more lifelike to make it more 3d make it more like pop from the page so i went in with a light color pencil as called burnt orca and i went and shaded in parts of the body where i thought that it needed more definition more shape to make it more lifelike so then when i went in with a darker brown color pencil to shade it in little bits and pieces it helped define each body part to make it look more realistic more real and pop from when i applied other colors on top <laughs> The next step is to start coloring the clothing and so I started with this corset part to color and I first colored the inside section with this marker called Coral 5 and I just colored that in and before I did any shading I colored all of the corset parts together and I then went in with like like the boning part of the corset or just like the uh, extra detail that I had on the corset with um, a Sienna 3. Think about the things I don't have, always living in the past, why do I do that? Then I used some browns to really color in each section. I used that lighter brown like a, and a medium brown and then actually went in with that darker brown slightly as you can at the edge to really make the boning really come out to make it look more 3D. It's no surprise, been this way for all my life. Never happy, always. I then went ahead and colored in the dress. Um, around the collar and around the wrist area, I used that Sienna 3 marker again um, and then shade that in with the browns again. But the main dress color that I used was the marker Yellow 8. Me, practice hours every day, but I don't feel amazing. Always one more when what I need's in front of my eye. Never feel like I'm good enough. I'm good enough. I never feel like I do enough. Do enough. I always put up my guard because every time I trust. 
Just wanna feel, just wanna feel like I used to feel. Ha For the shading, I just used a Prismacolor Golden Rod and a light brown color to shade in the creases of the dress. As always, went in with the lighter shade color to a darker shade color to really emphasize each little crevices of the dress and indention of the dress as well. Feel good. I'm walking around in the circle of life Doing the things I know Walking the same way a hundred of times You're gonna wanna have like a liner marker to outline everything on this figure to really pop everything out. As you see me do this, you can see how everything just pops and makes everything look finished more than just leaving it alone and not outlining everything. How do you like my drawing? I really love my drawing, my design. I just love it so much. I love the color theme that I picked for this dress. Everything just works perfectly. It's so beautiful. I love this design. That so I really hope that you did too. If you did, you know, go down below, give this video a like, please. I, I really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more videos like this. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little something or just liked looking at this video. And so I catch you back next week with another cool video for you guys. But other than that, I catch you back later. Bye. Hello.